Hello guys, it's me back once again for a new voiceover and I got a new question from Stillcat. He asked, hi, can you show how good is the setup in rendering video or rendering 3D textures? Um, he asked this question to the system AMD Athlon X4845 and the GeForce GT1030 GDR5. So in this video, I'm going to show its performance in Cinebench R15, uh, rendering a CPU and uh, something with OpenGL, so it's rendering with the GPU in this case. And after that, we are going to render a video in Sony Vegas, no, it's just Vegas Pro. Sony isn't doing this shit anymore. And uh, after this, we are going to render a YouTube intro in a Cinema 4D. So, uh, what you're seeing right now is he's already running Cinebench R15 and doing the CPU test. Um, it's going to finish soon. Um, yeah, because of its four cores, it's uh, just rendering four threads at the same time. The Athlon X4845 is a quad core CPU without any HT, so it's just uh, restricted to its four physical cores. So, this is going to take some time in here. Eight threads would really be much faster. I kept this test in real time so you can compare it to your PC maybe. So the CPU result is 317 Cinebench score points. Uh, that's not bad. Um, it's like a Core 2 Quad CPU, uh, which is highly overclocked. Yeah, you can compare it with an, with an high clocked Core 2 Quad, or you can compare it with a low clocked Core i5. So if you compare it to um, Core i5 from the second generation, it would be uh, a Core i5 running at around, I don't know, 2.3 or 2.4 gigahertz. Yeah, just, just to compare. So um, right now we are already in the um, GPU test. It's running on OpenGL. Um, the uh, GeForce GT1030. Um, is going to deliver around 55 FPS. Now yeah, that's it. Um, we got around now we got around 52 FPS. Yeah, that's also not not that bad. So for OpenGL, the CPU is really good. But now we are running in uh, the second test, and you are going to see that the GeForce GT1030 isn't um, isn't a perfect card for video rendering because it doesn't support um, Nvidia. NVENC. NVIDIA NVENC is a feature in its uh, graphics cards that performs video encoding. Uh, offloading this uh, compute intensive task from the CPU. Um, it was introduced with the uh, Kepler based GeForce 600 series in March 2012. And uh, mostly only the GeForce GX cards support NVIDIA NVENC. So the uh, GeForce GT1030 is of course just a GT card, so uh, it doesn't support this video encoding process.
so for for the most uh, video editing software I would recommend to choose a GX card like a GDX 1050 or a 1050 Ti so they both support NVIDIA and VNC and they are much better for rendering video clips so the clip you're seeing right now is of course time boosted I, I didn't want you to to wait the whole 50 minutes it took 50 minutes and 15 seconds uh, because yeah because it was just uh, rendering on the CPU um, just to compare it again with the with an i5 an i5 7400 without GPU would uh, need around 35 minutes and with a GPU it would just need around 15 minutes so NVIDIA NVENC I, I really recommend this uh, feature yeah for video editing so right now we are in our uh, last test it's uh, Cinema 4D and we are running a, uh, a, a rendering of a YouTube intro um, yeah this is going to take some time so yeah this clip is again a time boosted uh, it's going to take more than one and a half hours what you can, you can see in the uh, task manager right now is the CPU is running and 100% but also the GPU is working but in this case the CPU is holding back the GPU uh, heavily yeah with a faster CPU the GPU will also be used a lot more for rendering this clip it's also possible in Cinema 4D to just render with the GPU but I got a lot of um, yeah picture errors with it. The intro wasn't uh, like it should have been. The intro um, clip that I rendered only on the GPU wasn't looking how I wanted it to be. It had a lot of artifacts and a lot of errors. I don't know why. Um, it's possible because the the uh, GPU isn't able to render all the graphic uh, types in this, in this intro, I don't know. So all in all, after doing these tests, am I able to recommend this uh, CPU and GPU combination? Um, I would say don't buy it, because the GT1030 it's of course a cheap GPU, but in lack of NVIDIA NV and C, I don't recommend buying it. Instead, I would choose a GTX 1050 or a GTX 1050 Ti for rendering uh, videos in programs like Vegas Pro or rendering in Final Cut Pro. This program is also supporting NV and C. So for video editing, I would really recommend you to choose one of these cards. 1050 or 1050 Ti, or even better, yeah, if you've got more money. Um, for programs like Cinema 4D, um, where you're rendering on, on both the so CPU and GPU, I would recommend you to choose a faster CPU if you've got the money, but I would say the system is okay for running these programs. It's okay. It, it, it might take some time, yeah, to render, but if you compare it to the price, the CPU is just uh, like uh, thirty bucks right now at the moment. So you can get it really for a bargain price, and the CPU is also very, very cheap, ten thirty, if you compare it to its uh, to its power. So for programs like Cinema 4D, I would say you can go with the system, yeah. But for programs, for for editing programs like uh, Vegas Pro or uh, Final Cut Pro, I don't recommend it. So however, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. 
Thanks a lot for your support. Bye bye.